Scott coming to you with a quick video on how to solve half-life problems using some super easy diagrams. We should start though by discussing what is half-life. So half-life, if you remember from our notes, is going to be the amount of time it takes for a radioactive sample to decay to half of its original amount. So if I start off with 100 grams of something radioactive, after one half-life, I would have 50 grams remaining. The other 50 grams have decayed into something else. After a second half-life of the same amount of time, I would have 25 grams left. That's half of 50. After a third half-life, I would have half of this sample, so half of 25 would be 12.5 grams, and that would continue onward, getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So you need to know, how do I take half-life and apply that to solve problems. You're gonna have problems that ask you to find the half-life, to find the amount of something left over, maybe the original amount, or the amount of time something's gonna take, given various pieces of information. So let's start with this first problem. I'm going to model my thinking and show you some of the strategies I use to solve these. So first off, we have our problem. I like to read and highlight all my important information. It says, what is the half-life of a 100 gram sample, numbers are important, of nitrogen 16 that decays to 25 grams in 20 seconds? So I've highlighted the three numbers that I need. I'm gonna start with drawing circles to represent the amounts I have. I started with 100 grams, so that'll go over here on the left side. And I end up with 25. I have to find out how many times did this have to be cut in half to get to this number? So I will take my calculator, if it's necessary, and I'll take 100. After one half life, you divide by two to find how much you have left over. And the answer to that is I have 50. So after one half life, I have 50 grams. I take 50, divide it by two, and I see that I end up with 25, my ending amount. What these arches represent, these arches represent one half-life. And that's going to be important. I was given the total amount of time, and I now know from my diagram that that total amount of time is the same as two half-lives. So the problem is asking for one half-life. Now I just use algebra. I don't want two lives, I want one. So I'll divide both sides by two. And what I get is that one life is equal to 10 seconds. So every 10 seconds, this substance, this sample, will get cut in half. Now not all of your questions are necessarily going to be asking to find what is the half-life? You might be given the half-life and you have to find something else. So let's go to this problem right here. Potassium 42, potassium 42 has a half-life of 10 hours. How long will it take for an 800 gram sample to decay to 100 grams? So I have 10 hour half-life, start with 800 grams, and I want to end up with 100. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw my diagram again. Start with 800, I need to end with 100. How many times do you have to cut that sample in half? 800 divided by 2, that's one half left, I end up with 400. 400 divided by 2. Just keep hitting divided by 2. That leaves me with 200. Divided by 2 again. My diagram's complete. This means I have three half-lives. I wanted to know the total time it takes. One half-life is equal to 10, ho 10 hours. So here I'm going to use multiplication to find total time. Three half-lives times 10 hours apiece means this will take 
30 hours. So there's one where you find total time. Now let's look at one where you're not necessarily looking for a time, but rather an amount, either a starting or an ending amount. So we'll use this one right here. If the half-life of iodine-131 is eight days, how much of an 80-gram sample still radioactive after 16 days? That should say days. Okay? So I start with 80 grams, and I don't know how much I'm going to end up with. I have enough information to find out how many half-lives are going to happen. One life is equal to eight days. I have 16 days total. I need to find out how many times can eight go into 16. So I take 16 days divided by eight days per life. Those days will cancel out, which means I end up with two lives. So now I have enough information to draw my diagram. I cut 80 and a half once. That'll be 40 grams. That would be the equivalent to eight days. I cut it in half again. That would be 16 days. 40 divided in half. I'm left with 20 grams of something radioactive given that information.